Well, it's a rare day of sunshine. It was hammering it down this morning and we've got the one gable on on the far end and the second gable is going to be going on tomorrow when the Unimog arrives and he's going to lift the steelwork into position here and um, then the second gable can go on but it's starting to look a bit more like a house when you start to see triangles you know you're in business Here we are again, good morning, it's half seven or thereabouts and yeah, raining again in Plymouth, not surprising. Um, the main belt's coming in around about midday but it's going to be raining up until then which is a shame because today is Unimog day and we love a Unimog. Um, so he's going to be arriving to lift the steels into position, lift the trusses up onto the roof plate ready for setting out next week. And we've got 90 sheets of OSB3. Yeah, there's a surprise. Raining again. So this is the corner post going into position for the steels. And that's going to be going about here. Here's the end flanges here that will go onto that corner post and these three ends here they'll be the ones that sit into the Nadura and ultimately get cast in. James has asked me to just come and have a look at the, the first horizontal steel that's gone in uh, to check the level. So let's go and have a look. So this is the first time James has smiled this project and quite rightly so because if you look at that bubble it's bang on. First time really really good so well done this is a couple of days after the pour and the wall plates are going in with a lap joint there and bolted in and that's what the trusses will be attached to on both sides so obviously over there down to there and across to here and they'll be lifted on by the Unimog today that's where they are that's where the Unimog is That's the second beam going in. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
From the top of the scaffolding, I can see two baby deer as well. Typical, isn't it? We finished the steels and now the sun's come out. Honestly, I live in the West Country.